Hey, welcome to Trains Are Fun. How you guys doing? I have done something that I have sh done, should have done a long time ago. Just moved my train layout. I have never been on this side of the layout. This is the first time ever. This is the side of the layout that used to be up against the wall. I have never stood here. So this is my first time being able to see trains <laughs> come by from this perspective. And it's pretty nice. Also, uh, the <laughs> Tidma Sheds is well lit. And I have a better angle of it from seeing it. But not only that, I think the best thing, and the reason I should have moved this a long time ago, is because I have access to the layout from all four sides. It's so much better. I can get around to it. So I'm going to be able to enjoy the layout filming the layout because I can go around the entire layout without hitting a wall and I can see this side of the layout it is great never been here so I'm gonna give you a, I'm gonna back up kind of show you the whole layout as it is now so that is where the layout was back in that hole in the basement I have moved the storage shelves for the Lego that's some of some some of my personal Lego collection that all needs to be organized. But I've got it now to where I can actually get to it. I've got some more shelves over here. I need to get a few more because I got a bunch of stuff that didn't fit on the shelves. Uh, so it's not going to be the best backdrop for a layout. I thought if I needed to, I could put up um, the curtain right there if I wanted to do something like that if I wanted to film from this side and you not see the boxes oh, but it, it's all right for me I don't think it's too bad because when you get up close you kind of don't see the backdrop of all the Lego boxes in the basement you can do the right angles well yeah, I guess you can still see them but man just being able to get to all sides of the layout I was able to clean the track easily get to it and in fact being on this side of the layout sometimes was a pain because it was a tight squeeze for me uh, so it's making it easier to get the things it'll help me finish the scenery and give me some different shots for uh, when I'm filming videos so I, m majority of my videos start on the other side of the layout I can start them over here now it's just nice I love it so tell me what you think Thomas pulling the express. But the layout is so much better now. Being able to get to it. So I'll keep working on it. Working on the scenery. Cleaning things up. But it's coming along. And I can get to the whole thing. Nice. Should have done this 15 years ago. Yeah, I like this spot better. 
I still got to work on some things. Um, go ahead and tell you that. Under the table, I want to fix the wires. Got some of them hanging down. I want to staple those up where they're not drooping. And then I'm going to put the storage boxes of things under here. And then the stuff that we run frequently, the Thomas and Friends, the Bradford Exchange stuff I'm going to have here. Oh, that's the other thing. The way I had this before, these shelves were in the back and they were impossible to get to. Now it's going to be easy to get to and I can switch out cars and stuff. So i got to figure out which ones I want to uh, put in these boxes here. And that's um, the ones we use the most usually. So a lot of these boxes were under the table. I'm going to go through and organize them. Oh, all this stuff here. <laughs> It's amazing how much stuff you can cram into a small space. Uh, so I got to go through and sort out all this junk. Uh, not all of this was under the table, but there was a good portion of it. Um, but yeah, that's my my. That's where I, I used to review stuff for my Lego channel. But I'm very pleased with this. Well, tell me what you think. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Trains are fun. I'm going to get Thomas over here so I can pose for a thumbnail picture. Is that going to work? Yeah, I'll get him over here.